Welcome to the North Shore of Oahu. So what do you think of when you think of the North Shore? Is it Kelly Slater, Surfing Pipeline? Is it super cute, badass surfer chicks from Blue Crush? Is it movies like Forgetting Sarah Marshall? The North Shore is a lot of things, and those are some of it. You've also got the shave ice at Matsumoto's in Haleiwa. You've got shrimp trucks in Kahuku. But living here is a whole other experience. It's small town country feeling, yet it's big and it's energetic. It's slow paced, but it's not lazy. Let's go take a look at what living on the North Shore is really all about. North Shore is 17 miles of coastline with 51 beaches in between, but today we're going to look at some of the key areas, the places that are the most sought after for North Shore living, from Wailua to Haleiwa to Pupukea to Sunset Beach. And finally, we're going to look at the only resort community on the North Shore. It's been kind of controversial over the years, but it's the only place, one of three actually, where you can do short-term rentals, and that's Kui Lima at Turtle Bay. Now, you'll hear locals say, keep the country country, and I have to agree, but that's why I want to show you the North Shore from a local perspective. By the way, whether you're a Kama'aina or somebody that's moving back to Hawaii or if you're just looking to make a move to Hawaii altogether, please subscribe to our channel or connect with us on dwellhawaii.com and let us be your neighborhood lifestyle guides to help you find your way home. Now, when you come to Haleiwa, you're greeted with old charm and just plantation style town, the small town vibe, but it's kind of touristy as well. And if you live here, you probably won't come here that often. It's kind of like a village and a ski town, but nevertheless, you will certainly appreciate it. Okay, this is a very typical summer day on the North Shore. I mean, Matsumoto's Shave Ice has a really long line, and there's a good reason. It's like the best shave ice on the island. Even a local like me loves to go there, but I'm not gonna make Yasu endure that pain as he's filming this video. Um, I'll come back and get it another day. Okay, I lied. I'm not coming back on another day. You can't come to the North Shore and not have shave ice. My auntie always told me Aoki's was good. Maybe I should just get one for fun. I don't know why everybody waits for so long in the other line. They should just come here. By the way, little local insider tip for you. This is not a snow cone. This is not a slushy. It's shave ice. We just left Haleiwa Town and we're heading up to Pupukea, which is like up above the North Shore, totally different lifestyle up there. And then we're gonna go to Sunset Beach. But since we're on our way, we might as well stop at this very beautiful beach, which one of my Hawaiian friends calls the turtle harassing beach. But there are a lot of green sea turtles here and it is quite a sight to see. So let's go see if we can find some. Let's go this way. Oh, and do not ride the turtles. Do not try to pet the turtles. Let them be. Look at them if you must. <laughs> you don't want to go viral on like 808 viral or mean Hawaii Instagram. If you don't know what it is, you don't want to be on it. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> We're way up here in Pupukea, which is above the North Shore, um, beaches anyway, and there's not really any houses for us to look at, but I wanted to just come up here and, and get the feeling of space and um, big lots and just that kind of like agriculture, country zoning. Um, gosh, I wish we could go see a house, but it's this is where you would live on the North Shore if one, yes, you love the ocean, but also if you're really looking for privacy and seclusion without like, you know, kids playing in the street, family, like this is where you're just, you're kind of remote in a way, but I mean, it's so beautiful. Elvis Presley had a house up here at one time. This is known as a neighborhood called the Sunset Belzee area. 
and home prices now start at about $2 million and they can go all the way up to $6 million plus. Uh, the $2 million houses are even just like steps from the beach, they're not right on the beach. And my auntie sold her house in 2019 and right after that of course we had the pandemic and that just got all eyes on the North Shore and people who were now working remote um, have flocked to this area wanting to have that experience and live where they want to live knowing that they can work from home and so prices have gone crazy. So this was Auntie Kim and Uncle Danny's house where we had lots of sleepovers and spent a lot of time in the summer and in the winter. Uh, we'd come out here to experience the big winter surf, not surf it, but see it and be around it. And in the summers, of course, we got to experience the flat blue ocean with Uncle Danny. He taught us how to surf. It's nice to be over here and to be kind of reminiscing. And after we leave Sunset Velzi, uh, we're gonna take a trip right around the corner to Kui Lima at Turtle Bay. And then we're gonna go see my auntie and uncle's son, Duke. Duke has continued to live here on the North Shore. Turtle Bay features three ownership areas, Ocean Villas, Kui Lima East, and Kui Lima West. Today, we're featuring a unit at Kui Lima West, which is the more economical option because of its proximity to the golf course. Actually, this unit is right on the golf course. Now, most units here are one bedrooms. Some of them are two bedrooms featuring more of a loft space. You can expect prices to range from 900,000 to 1.5 million. Of course, the ones with the loft are gonna cost a little bit more. Prices here have skyrocketed, especially since the short-term rental laws have changed via Bill 41, this being one of the only areas where you can actually do night-by-night short-term rentals. Amenities include multiple swimming pools, cabanas, barbecues, tennis courts, two golf courses by Fazio and Arnold Palmer, and of course, the beach. So right now we're in Wailua. Wailua is an old sugar mill town and it's very country, um, small town like. Of course we've got the beautiful beach out here, but now we're gonna go visit my cousin um, Duke and his wife Angela. And Duke is like the epitome of North Shore. He was born and raised out here actually at Sunset Beach and then he chose to make his home here in Wailua and they have an adorable house and uh, I haven't seen them in a while. I'm gonna bring them some donuts and we're gonna talk story with them. Hi, how are you? Thank you for letting us come. This is Yasu. Hi. This is Angela. He's gonna sniff your crotch. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, big boy. <laughs> he goes straight oh, wow. for it. I'm straight for it. <laughs> Hi! Okay, I didn't set up. Okay, Big boy. You. <laughs> oh! Wow! So cute! Thank you for letting me come to your house today. I love your house so much and I love you both so much, but you guys are like North Shore and I want to show North Shore in all of its beauty and everything, but also in a very real way. Um, so tell me about what it was like growing up here. We grew up in uh, Sunset Beach area, and it's, uh, yeah, real family oriented. Um, everybody was running around. Um, you know, we would just go to the next neighbor's house and hang out at their house, and the next neighbor's house and hang out at their house. Uh, all the kids knew everybody. Um, but yeah, just super good. And then we had a built-in uh, nanny, which is the surf. You know, everybody <laughs> knew where everybody was, all the kids was, they was surfing at the beach. So. But uh, yeah, still lifelong friends. I see um, it's just such a uh, tight-knit community. I still see um, people I went to elementary school with around the neighborhood and in Haleiwa town. So. I love it. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about living here and not working on the North Shore? You both work way out you know, somewhere else, in, close to town. What's that like? 
Everybody says that, but I grew up in Texas, so it's not such a big deal for me to drive long distances. And Wailua is not as bad as Sunset Beach is, for example, Sunset Beach, and then you deal with the traffic at Lani's. Um, here we just get on the freeway and I can make it to work in 30 minutes and at nighttime I work at 10 o'clock I get off at 10 so I can make it home in like 20 minutes it, he works a little bit further but for me it's not a big deal I don't know about you no I feel the same way yeah um, yeah we don't have to uh, sit in traffic anytime there's road work now but other than that you know you just slide on to Colina and slide out with opposite schedules of traffic so right. not, not bad at all not yeah. Did you choose to stay here because of the ocean? Or like, do you still go to the beach? Do you surf? Like, is that a big part of your life? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, 100%, that's why we're here. Yeah. I love it. Well, I love your house. Can we go take a look? Yes, okay. absolutely. <laughs> This is Sunset Shores in Wailua. It's a two bedroom, two bath, and it's very typical of a place that you could own if you're looking for a condo or just a place to escape for the winter. But this one happens to be right on the beach and it's just beautiful. Now this seller owns it and she rents it out for about $3,500 per month to traveling nurses. It's listed at $888,000 currently, but you can see that the North Shore offers a lot of options if you're just looking for a getaway or if you're looking for some place to really put roots down and live. But Either way, a lot of people want to be on the North Shore. There's a huge difference between visiting the North Shore and living on the North Shore. I say that it could be similar to loving wine and visiting Sonoma, um, or actually wanting to buy a house there and put roots down there because you feel that it calls you. The North Shore is a very special place and it doesn't come without sacrifice to live here. It's kind of remote, there's traffic, it's expensive. If you buy a house on the beach, you've got a lot of maintenance that you have to uh, maintain in order to maintain its value. But the lifestyle here is unlike any other. So if you feel that the North Shore is calling to you, please let us know, we would love to help you.